Hey everybody, it's a C Dub for Wofolio Pathfinding Resources. Uh, how you like his background back here? Now, it's not a real brick wall, but this is a gift from Lawrence and Jolene Nolan over at Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries over in Murfreesboro, Illinois. Uh, I said Murfreesboro, but they have a far-reaching influence. And if you ever want to, you can check them out. Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries might be SFC Outreach Ministries on Facebook. They have a lot of streaming stuff that they do. And anyway good people, good ministers, genuine people, and even better friends. So thanks guys. It looks great. What I wanted to talk to you about is have you ever listened to a song or watched a movie or read a book and you were just kind of unimpressed? I mean, you go, it was okay. And then you come back maybe a year or two later and you go, wow, this is a lot better than I remember. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You know, we talk about uh, teaching, and we talk about training and there's a difference. There's application. And number one, if you're going to do a book review, you're never going to get better than this thing right here. This is your manual. Okay. So you're never going to top that. By the way, that is the Bible. I still have it. That Bible right there is a King James Bible. I got from Carroll Baptist church over in Carroll, Illinois, back when I was baptized, when I was 16 years old. And uh, got Reverend Potts still out there preaching. And anyway, good people. But uh, the book I wanted to talk to you about, you know, we got Christian books and different things like that, that kind of put stuff together in a way that where you don't have to just search it all out. And they might take a topic and get a lot of stuff from the word. And it just helps you assimilate the information a little bit quicker. Well, there, I remember there was this book. And around 2003, 2004, everybody was talking about this book. They were like, oh, you got to read this. This is so good. This is so good. And I remember probably due to the intensity of some of the things I was experiencing at the time, uh, especially in the area of spiritual warfare, I remember being unimpressed. But that was around 2003, 2004 again. So this has been 16, 17 years now. But I just picked this book up. And I got to tell you, this book is called The Three Battlegrounds by Francis Frangipane. And this thing right here was a lot more profound the second time I read it. And it talks about the subject is basically spiritual warfare. And it gets into the three battlegrounds, uh, one of which is your mind. The other one is uh, the church area, the church realm. And then the other one is talks about the supernatural realm, the heavenly realm, if you want to call it that. So anyway, it was just a good book. I would highly recommend it. No, we're not selling. Again, we're not trying to make money off anybody and we're doing okay. So anyway, if you ever want a good book, you probably look it up on Amazon, Barnes and Noble and might be able to find it at a secondhand store. Uh, I would highly recommend this book. And it was, let me tell you what made it stand out this time is there's a lot of stuff that was in the book that it took us a year to write, uh, me and Bones the Christian self-defense manual. And we ended up delving into a lot of stuff. And this pretty much come from our experiences, things we had talked about, things we had learned in the word when we were going over that book. But it's amazing how much for a book that I was unimpressed with way back when, it's amazing how much stuff that we had had to kind of work out by ourselves and through our own walk, it was amazing how many tidbits in that book and how many profound statements there were that aligned right up with everything that we've been saying on the Wofo Yo podcast, as well as in our book, the Christian Self-Defense Manual. So again, if you're ever looking for a good book to read, n number one's always the Bible, but uh, The Three Battlegrounds by Francis Frangipane, highly recommend it. Yeah, if we were going to five stars, I would probably give it about a three and a half to a four, maybe a 3.75. So anyway, have a blessed day. Remember, if you're going to grow, you got to wo yo Get in the word for yourself, folks. Have a good one.